I'm Alan White. I'm here at the Grill Room at Two World Financial Center talking to uh, Malcolm Chisholm about his book, Definitions and in Information Management. Malcolm, your book, uh, Definitions and in Information Management, is it a dictionary or an encyclopedia? The book really isn't a dictionary or an encyclopedia. It's a book about definitions, how to do definitions in, de in information management, what definitions are about, their theory and history, and, and how to apply them. Um, I did the book because I thought that, that this is something that's really necessary. I'd been doing data modeling, data management, data governance for, for decades now, and in each of those activities you have to do something about defining the data. I mean, you can't use the data if you don't know what it means. So the quality of the definitions mattered a lot to me, and I found that there was really no guidance out there. And when I looked into the subject, I found out it was very rich, and it was certainly rich enough to do at least one book on. And so I thought I'd package everything up that I'd learned and put it into a book, and that was really the motivation for it. So it's more of a how-to than a sort of reference, like a, a, any kind of dictionary or, or encyclopedia. What would you say is groundbreaking about your book? There's been no books at all published on definitions since 1950, none at all. And there was never a book published for the information management community. I think that's really important. If you don't think definitions are important, you don't need it. But we all know that fundamentally definitions are important. Then the question is, are they so easy we can just do them? Well, they're not. Okay, they require a lot of management. They're kind of elusive things. and they, and they the enterprise is going to have to address them. We've gone on for 40 years now, you know, since the third generation computers were introduced in the early 1960s, and we've never really tackled this. I think now is the time to do so. What's groundbreaking about the book is packaging all the information together to give it to a, a data professional. It really didn't exist before, but I also think that, that what the book, I really hope what the book does is to convey to the data professional that there's a lot of foundation here that they should be aware of that's coming from other disciplines, like, say, philosophy. Okay, and we can use that. We can use it in a practical manner. And it's giving this practical um, push to the, to the data professional that I think is new. And I'm really hoping that people will use it and improve de definitions because, again, you can't use data if you don't understand what it is. We've got to be able to communicate the understanding of what it means uh, between each other. And I think that's kind of lacking at the moment. And we need that sort of lubrication in, in there, in, our, in the overall competency. And frankly, it's missing right now. Years ago, you wrote a book on reference data management, which is uh, the first book I've ever seen on the subject. I actually call you the father of reference data management. Um, what, what led you to write this book? Well, um, the reason I wrote the book on reference data management was that my background was actually quite extensive. I'd actually been doing it since reference data was on punched cards. That was my first job. And I, as I went through my career, it seemed that everywhere I went, I ended up dealing with reference data or master data in one form or another. So I got enough experience of, of it to kind of reflect on it and think, well, what's so important about this data? Why is it um, risky to manage? Uh, what are its particular problems? And I also got the, in, in my background, I felt that I, I never liked the idea, which was current in data management maybe 20 years ago, that data is just data and there's a one size fits all approach to just data. And that master data, that reference data really is different. So I kind of wanted to prove that in the book and also bring in, you know, here's some practical ways of managing the stuff which I learned throughout my career and get that out to the audience. Now, of course, since then, there's been you know, a lot, lot more written about it, but in those days, I, it was indeed the first book um, about uh, reference data. Um, uh, today, there's a lot more, but it, 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 I think the problems, if anything, have got worse since that time because of the, the rush to data integration. And so we'll see kind of where the future leads on that. So, Malcolm, where do you see the market trending in information management based on the book you've written? The enterprise data management market's going to go in a lot of different directions. If we look at definitions, because that's the area that I'm interested in right now, I think it's critically important. You've got initiatives like the Semantic Web. Well, the Semantic Web's been around for a few years now, but the promise really isn't there. In, in, in fact, people talk uh, in terms of semantics about everything except the semantic content. They're much more focused 
on the containers, the tools that can contain meaning, can contain definitions, rather than the quality of the content, the quality of the definitions they're producing. That's going to have to be addressed. And I think that's uh, something that's going to come, and I think we'll see trusteeship or stewardship built around that. I think we'll see a lot more um, of methodology coming back in to support the tool sets. If we don't have that, we'll just kind of just grow the current data mess. And to the more general point of your question, where's enterprise information management going? I think it's going in a, in a broad direction where we're, people are standing back and saying, look, you know, this data stuff is different. And they're thinking, or at least I'm, I think they're thinking, that they look at something like human resources and say, well, there's people everywhere in the enterprise. We have a common framework for managing people, and human resources looks after that. We all work in buildings. There's a common framework for looking after our buildings, and facilities management looks after that. Money is everywhere in the enterprise. Finance sets the rules for money. Data is everywhere in the enterprise. An enterprise information management unit, a horizontal function, just like human resources, should be responsible for administration or management of data in a general way. And I think we're going into that. It'll get us away from technology. We still need technology, but it'll be the organizational framework, the governance around it, that's going to become more and more important. So technical people will have, I think, a little bit of a challenge in moving in that direction, but I think that's where it's going.